to Edicus at Athens, Rome 68 BC, by Cicero. We are such intimate friends with more than almost anyone else you can appreciate the grief as well as the actual public and private loss that the death of my cousin Lucius is to me. There is absolute no gratification which any human being can receive from the kind of character of another that I have not been accustomed to receive from him. I am sure, therefore, that you will share my grief. For the first place, whatever affects me affects you, and in the second place, you have yourself lost in him a friend and connection of a highest character and most obliging disposition who was attached to you from personal inclination as well as from my conversation. As to what you say in your letter about your sister, she will herself bear me witness for the pains I have taken with my brother Quintus to show a proper affection. Thinking him somewhat inclined to be angry with her, I wrote to him in such a way as I thought would not hurt his feelings as a brother, by giving him some good advice as my junior and remonstrating with him as being in the wrong. As I this wet, from frequent letters since received from him, I felt confident that everything is as it ought and as we should wish it to be. As to the frequency of my letters, you have no ground for your complaint. The fact is that our good sister Pomponia never informed me of her being a courier ready to take a letter. Furthermore, I never chanced to know of anyone going to Ephesus, and I was not till recently informed of her being at Athens. Again, as the business of Acutilis, which you had left in my hands, I had settled it on my first visit to Rome after your departure. But it turned out that in the first place there was no urgency in the matter, and in the second place, as I felt confidence in your judgment, I preferred that Hepetokhanus, rather than on myself, should advise you by letter on the subject. For having submitted my ears to Acutilis for several days, and I think you know his style, I should scarcely have regarded it as a hardship to write your letter describing his grumblings after patiently enduring the bore, and it was rather a bore, I can tell you, of hearing him. Moreover, will you find fault with me, or will me observe that I have had only one letter from you, or you had greater leisure for writing or opportunity of sending letters? As to what you say in your letter, even if anyone is inclined to be offended with you, I ought to bring him to a better mind, understand to what you allude, and I have not neglected the matter. But the truth is that the extent of his displeasure is something surprising. However, I have not omitted to say anything there was to say in your behalf. But on what points I am to hold out your wishes, I consider ought to be my guide. If you will write me very distinctly what they are, you will find that I have had no desire to be more exacting, and in the future should be no more yielding than you wish. As to the business of Tardius, he tells me that you have written him a word that there was no need of further trouble, since the property is secured by prescription. I am surprised that you do not know that in the case of a studio wardship of an unmarried girl prescription cannot be pleaded. I am glad you like your purchase in Epirus. What I commissioned you to get to me and anything you see suitable to my Tusculan villa, I should be glad if you will, as you say in your letter, procure for me, only don't put yourself to any inconvenience. The truth is, there is no other place that gives me complete rest after all my worries and hard work. I am expecting my brother Quintus every day. Terentia has a severe attack of rheumatism. She is devoted to you, to your sister and your mother, and it's a kindness regards in a postscript. So does my pet to Lulia. Love me, be assured that I love you as a brother.